Hello friends and welcome back to another Max Raid event update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's video we are going to be looking at the new mid-month event that has just been announced for the Max Raid events for September. So, earlier in the month we covered the September updates, uh, I'll link a little eye in the corner if you want to go check that out with GMAX Toxicity, GMAX Falapple, and a bunch of other Pokemon that we've got access to for the month of September, but as they have been doing for the past few months, that we have got a mid-month event which runs for a very short period of time, has some unique Pokemon that you're going to be able to catch but for a limited time only. So without further ado, let's hop straight over into it as you can see on your screen right now. This is a September event that we've got running, as I say, you've got the, the Heliolisk, you've got the Glossifer, the Elder Goss, the GMAX Toxicity and Appleton. Uh, that is running until, just as a reminder, till the 30th of September this month. Um, so you've got a little bit of time to take advantage of that. But for this weekend only, we have a special event running and it is all based around the uh, Sun and Moon Evolution event. That's what they're coining it or what Cerebi are coining it anyway. So uh, all based around Pokemon around the Sun and Moon Evolution stones. Um, as you can see, the event is running from September the 18th, which is today until September the 20th, which is this coming Sunday. So you only have that limited period, like I say, to take advantage of this event. Now, going through the Pokemon, I think they're gonna be the same for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, but we'll cover that as we go through them. First star raids, uh, we've got Clefable, Wigglytuff, Gloom, Musharana, uh, Whimsicott, and Lilligant. Uh, no particular special items that we're gonna be getting here from the one star raids, at least, um, and then we'll move down. Again, it's gonna change for the two star raids. Uh, these are for more more of you that are in early stages of your playthrough haven't got those gym badges to get the five star or three star raids yet uh, but you can still take advantage of this event even if you aren't complete or through the the entire game yet two star raids are going to be clefable wigglytuff blossom uh, mishirana uh, the whimsicott and lilligan again no items are sticking out to me in particular that are going to be that special for this event um the three star raids with the clefable wigglytuff blossom Mushurana, Whimsicott and Lilligan again and item wise I'm not really seeing anything stand out what's this is anything jumping out Ah, bottle cap okay so we're going to be able to get access to bottle caps through this one which is nice I guess is a little bonus four star raids moving on again it's going to be that Clefable, the Wigglytuff, the Blossom, the Mushurana, uh, Whimsicott and Lilligan and then this is where it gets interesting or as always with the five star raids and you're going to have Clefable, Wigglytuff, Blossom, Mushurana, Clefable again and Lilligan. Now they've duplicated the Clefable again because there is a very small chance, a 2% chance that you are going to be able to get a square shiny Clefable this weekend and for you singles players and some of you VGC players and just general Pokemon fans that want to get grab one of these shinies for your collection it's an incredibly good chance for you to get this shiny Pokemon Clefable uh, being a shiny obviously you can tell by the green little tips on its ears that it is a shiny but the square shiny makes it even more rare so uh, a very good opportunity for you to take advantage of this coming weekend like I say there is only a 2% chance that it will spawn and it has to be from a five star raid uh, according to this data again the item choices uh, the item that you're going to be getting from this event aren't going to be uh, anything special so they're kind of just generic things that you would normally get with a max raid event but what makes this event special is the shiny clefable that you're going to be getting there we'll just take a quick look at pokemon shield you can see uh, it's pretty much going to be the same pokemon right the way through so uh, it's going to be the same for both copies it doesn't matter if you've got sword or shield you're going to have the same pokemon appearing in these max raid event dens so as i say this event runs from today which is the 18th of september until the 20th so if you want to try and get some of these pokemon and get that square shiny clefable make sure you do take advantage of this event over the coming weekend so um what we're going to do now is just hop into game and I'll show you how to do it. So right now you can see I've got a GMAX Toxicity Den active here in the Isle of Armour. You can do this in the wild area as well. To update your den what you need to do is just come down to Mystery Gift, uh, get wild area news 
Uh, I know most of you will know about this as well. You can also just uh, connect to the internet. That will update the dens, but it won't update them permanently for the weekend. So uh, doing it this way will update them permanently. And as you can see, what will happen is if I click into the den, there's the five star raid. So we've got that. I'm actually just going to save this in case it is a shiny on the off chance that it's a shiny. Be amazing if it was because I will host this over the weekend if it is um, and we will just jump into it. So what you can do as well, it, once you've got the, the beam is just do the date skip glitch to go through the five star raid. Fable until you come across the shiny and unfortunately this one isn't but we will keep hunting this weekend I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of people over on our discord community hosting the shiny Clefable over the weekend So do join the discord community. It's an amazing community there We have a lot of raids going on all the time uh, that you can get involved with and uh, hopefully you'll have a lot of fun But I think that about wraps it up for this little mini update for the uh, event dens this weekend Hopefully you have a lot of success getting this square shiny Clefable. Uh, I'll definitely be trying to get it. It's definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, and at the minute in the current VGC scene, it is definitely something that I feel is a very good supporting Pokemon. But we'll leave it there. So if you've enjoyed today's episode, please remember to drop a like on the channel. If you're new to the channel as well, do hit that subscribe button for more updates on these Max Raid Event Dens. I cover all of them and uh, we do a lot of other Pokemon content on the channel. So have a great day. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.